Let's see how to create and run a simple action using the OpenWhisk Bluemix UI. We'll start by clicking the Create an Action button at the top of the editor. This brings up a dialog which asks us to supply important information about the action we want to create. First, I'll pick a name and call it Hello. Next, I'll pick an execution runtime. You can see from the available list that we have a wide variety of execution runtimes to choose from, including Docker, Node.js, Python, and even Swift. For this example, I'm going to pick Node.js 6. After choosing an execution runtime, I'm going to click Create Action. This takes me back to the editor, showing my new Node.js 6 action. It is a simple main function that returns a very appropriate message of Hello World. To test this action, we'll click the Run This Action button at the top of the editor. This brings up a dialog which allows us to customize the way in which our action is invoked. For this example, I'll just choose the default and click the Run With This Value button. Once the action is complete, it brings up the Invocation console, which shows me the result of the action, as well as some interesting metrics about how the action was run. But what if I want my action to say something other than Hello World? Let's close this out and go back to the editor to use one of the parameters to make it say something different. In this case, instead of saying hello world, I'll make it say the name of a parameter that I pass in. You can see that the main function takes a single argument called params. And if I refer to params.name, I'll be able to pass in a name parameter and have it used by my action. Once I'm done typing, you can see at the bottom right corner, the editor says that my changes are saved but not live. This means that in order to run the action and see this result, I have to click the Make It Live button. Alright, now that my changes are live, let's click the Run This Action button again, and this time, provide a name parameter. I can set a name parameter by editing the JSON input field. All I have to do is add a new name attribute and give it a value. I'll choose Open Whisk. Once my name parameter is set, all I have to do is click the Run With This Value button. The invocation console comes back up and we can see that this time our message that's returned is hello open whisk.